Hey guys, Donna Nash here. Hello. Back for another reaction video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the As We Fall Varus music video um, cinematic, which actually came out a while ago. Uh, this one's taking us to the region of Ionia. And honestly, we've been learning about all the regions from the various franchises. Like they all tie in the region somehow, which is absolutely awesome. And um, I just think that Ionia is pretty cool, so I can't wait to get a better look at it. Yeah, I completely agree. It's been such a journey to travel to all these different locations and see what their environments are like. But especially for Ionia, we've seen it featured in a few different cinematics so far. And I have absolutely like fallen in love with everything it is. I love how magical it is, how mystical it is. Yeah, there's a um, lot of there's a lot of lore that you guys have been dropping on us about uh, Iona in the comments. Yeah. And we just absolutely love it to learn yeah, more about it. It's so awesome to see. Like I appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um so yeah, I, I can't wait to see more of Ionia and see where the cinematic takes us this time. Alright, let's dig it. Palace and Ionia. Oh, we get to see a pretty, pretty cinematic. Yeah. Don't die, friend. Yeah. Y'all lovers? I'm getting that vibe. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Oh, that's a well? That is deep. What is? Bro, nightmare fuel. You ought to like the cinematic. Turn it off. <laughs> this is nightmare what? fuel. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need an adult. Oh, it goes what? deeper. Bro, is that the void? <laughs> Belveth is like, hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, what? That was the guy that was dying, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, what? Oh, I got goosebumps. Mad nerd chills. What? Oh, no. Honestly, this came out how long ago? This is awesome. Bro! Oh! Alright, so one guy's like a bow and arrow type dude. What does the other guy do though? Wicked uh, transitions. Seriously? Like, yeah, we've. We've really been like, um, we've loved a lot of the uh, scene changes that they've done, but that one is awesome. I'm like, I literally can't believe what I'm watching. Very cool. Wow. Dude, his bow. Face. He just doesn't even care, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, you dead. <laughs> yeah, the animation in this is awesome. Did they both become that one dude? Look yeah, at that like, dude! What did you become? Look at that dude! That was so dope! That was so dope at the end. All right, we'll we'll get back to the oh end my, oh in yeah, a second. We'll go back, we'll back, we'll back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go, okay. That was so. I just want to take a look at this dude real quick, Bruh! That was sick. His arm, like his arm. Oh my gosh, the texture on it. It's just... like it's like bark. Yeah, it's like tree bark. That's great. Did the did the original dude that was dying have a shot through the heart? Because we see a big hole in his heart here. Don't. Yeah. Sorry. I'm. I try to think when we seen him, in that last piece. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, both, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. Okay. So, um, this came out in 2017, and it is 100,000 times better than the 2023 <laughs> seasonal cinematic to try and get us hyped up. Without a doubt. 
Like that is. <laughs> this was sick. I honestly like most of these cinematics. Most of the seasonal ones, if not all of them, are made by outside studios. I'm actually wondering the same about this. Yeah, I, I'm wondering the same about this one. Um, I, I'm, I'm ever since I learned that those cinematics were made by outside studios, it it really makes me wonder about these other cinematics that are just visually amazing. Yeah. Not to say that Riot's animators can't do this, but uh, in my mind, I understand it right now that Riot's animators are working on Arcane. And, yeah. uh, you know, the other projects are put out to other studios, which, in my opinion, was a very smart move. All right, so let's talk about some of the subject matter going on here. Nightmare fuel. I, yeah. As you guys know, I don't like anything to do with under the depths and the Deep, darkness. Dark. Well, of anything. the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Specifically the sea. Specifically the water. Deep, dark, anything we can't actually like see in front of ourselves. Dude, <laughs> I didn't think that was a well at first. I thought, I mean, like, yeah, like a pool. Not that, not, it, it's so No, deep. I thought it was one of those things that you just throw coins in. The fountains yeah, you just throw like coins. not that deep. It was just like a little. That's an ocean <laughs> in there. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. This, I'm like, this was like every level of my fear amplified. <laughs> like every, like. Okay, first we're going down to the depths of like nowhere land. And then things down there come to life. No, bro. <laughs> and then there's like ghosty things that are pulling you to literal death down no. there. No, man. No, yeah, the wall's alive. It's funny too that you mentioned Belveth. Um, only because like it, it did remind me of that too because um, the purple is the same color. But also because. Yeah, that was in, totally the void. <laughs> because in her video when they grab Kaisa, the wall is alive as well. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's not the same wall at all. No, no, this it's is not. Just, I know, I know, it's not. This is a more boy, ghostly. Like, but... this is scary. Uh, yeah. This is something that I expect to see in Diablo. I was like, not only is it alive, it has red eyes, and yes, definitely would expect to see this in Diablo. Yeah, like the souls of a thousand dead warriors, like pulling you to death or something. Like, this, this is scary, this man. This is a whole lot of no. Hundred <laughs> percent. So, no, help me out. <laughs> yeah, you guys will have to let us know the names of the two dudes here yeah. be before. Uh, and, and maybe the name of the, like, I don't, okay, so I'm like, I'm get, I'm like, this, is this four different entities? Like, we got the two humans. Yeah. We got this mystical silver this surfer guy, purple yeah. guy, smoke guy here. And then we got uh, the end dude that they both seemingly turn, like, like mesh, mesh, mesh into. Mesh into, yeah. Merge which, into. Which is weird because, like, okay, so the guy that died turns into this purple uh Smoky guy, right? Bluish, purple, smoky guy, whatever he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And then he somehow like jumps into like a different time, like he goes back and shoots this guy in 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 the chest. Yeah. What in the world? So I'm like, is the premise of this like he couldn't save his dude, but he just like somehow the the spirit of his dude turned into that purpley guy, purpley guy somehow. Like, is there some sort of time skip in this? I was going to say, there's a bit of a timeline I think we're not quite putting together here. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's, because, let's... like, when this happens, yeah. too, like, he goes, does he go back into that body? Because he does that, like, yell or whatever, and the whole thing disintegrates. Like, of the whole wall. Here's what I was confused. I'm like, because I'm, it's a mirror image of himself. Yeah. And then his dude just... Disappears. Yeah. At the same his... time. Buddy's just gone. Like, Buddy then... is just gone. Oh, and that like obliterates the whole thing. But you see the the sec you see the body. Yeah, drop, yeah, yeah. So. You see the two guys. So he's, he didn't he didn't he's not gone. He's yeah. There. Right, right. We see the two bodies drop. Yeah, they're going into that's like that's is what I this is what I would expect if you fell into a black hole. I was just like yeah. yeah. Other than yeah. the spaghettification that your body would just <laughs> um this is what I would expect. I remember a dream when I was a kid. I'm not kidding. And I still remember this dream as vividly as ever. I had like, I'm pretty sure it was like a race car bed. And the mattress was so soft that as a kid, I remember like, I don't know why I remember this so physically. It's not just a memory. I remember the feeling. Like, so it, it, literally this. This scene in the cinematic was like, when I came to some sort of consciousness where I could remember or realize that I was um, aware in my dream. Um, I was in space or what felt like space or what felt like this, just, a just an abyss, literally. And I was falling like forever, free, free falling? forever. It wouldn't stop. Like I remember it as a kid, like it lasted what seemed like hours. And when I woke up, it wasn't like, it was so weird. Like the, the transition of waking up was not me hitting the bottom or anything. 
it was just the scene of everything around me fading away above me. And then it was just like, I, I just like realized when I woke up. Huh. Weirdest thing, but that's what this reminds me of. Um, if you guys have had any like like surreal dreams like that, some some very, um, what are they called? Uh, lucid? Lucid dreams. Lucid if you dreams? have any lucid dreams, uh, please share them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about them. Yeah. Yeah. And then this started to happen. I think this is... So I'm like, here, are we like... This is the whole weird time skip thing. Are we, are we jumping into like the memories of these two or something? Either way, this is like the, the part that doesn't quite line Add up, up timeline. Yeah. yeah, so like we're we're definitely like jumping into their memories or something. Like his whole brain blows apart and like yeah. we're in this different um this different atmosphere. I think you're right. And also like and you see the two faces. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't um, realize that. Below below the Below both scenes. Yeah. So like you it's like each person. Um oh they're holding hands too. The, gotcha. the rock there is holding hands. Gotcha. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that that is pretty accurate because like that environment is in the brain, so I think it's fair to say like we're in a memory of some sort. Something like that. Um, this is Buddy. That this is what, this has to be a time skip back because he has the arrow in him here. This is like. So he. Yeah. I feel like they're outside the temple right here, like outside yes. where that. And then like Buddy brings him in. Yes. Yeah. But somehow. Somehow we. Pur purpley guy. Yeah fuses them like like this is how they save each other or whatever yeah, yeah that's like i feel like whatever the lore is behind that well i feel like blonde buddy knew that and this is the only way he could have saved dude was to become one to, yeah like i feel like this has something to do with some sort of sacrifice like maybe that's why he like touched his cheek like it was yeah. a non-verbal kind of interaction at yeah. the beginning but I, I think he knew that something like that needed to happen i'm thinking <laughs> sorry when you start talking about merging and saving and it my brain was triggered to like in StarCraft when when you make an Archon. Is it an Archon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's a random thing, but that's just what No, it <laughs> get out of here. Stop with that. Stop it right now. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Absolute nonsense. We're not allowed analogies anymore. Analogies. <laughs> uh... No, uh, no. <laughs> And yeah. the process begins. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is dope, though. I definitely want to learn more. So, is the purple guy just, like, a version... Like, does this guy not have a name? And is it just an embodiment of the... You know what I mean? Is it just a way to bring them both together? Yeah, yeah. What I'm basically saying is, does... Uh, let me get a, a picture of his face here. Uh, this guy. Does this yeah. guy have a name? Or is it... No name for that guy, and it's just a part of the cinematic. And it, 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 is it just this guy? This guy. Like, is this guy the, the final hero? Yeah. And and the two humans, do they have names, or are they not part of anything? Is this just backstory to show how this one hero came to be? Yeah. Um. We have questions. Yeah, we got we got questions. <laughs> we want to know. Let us know in the comments down below. This guy looks sick. Yeah, he does. Like, he looks sick. Um, yeah. I love how they retained the the bow. Yes. And and I love how like the what looks like the the um energy of the his like his arms look like bark tree, like you know what yeah, I mean. Like his yeah, yeah. So, I just love how like my power is oozing out and, and going into the bow as well. Yeah. Wicked. No, this is so cool. I uh, I know I pointed out earlier with the the hole in the heart, but yeah, how they retained that because that's where he took an arrow to the yeah. knee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where he got shot with an arrow. That is just awesome. Yeah. Wow. This was epic. That was really I'm cool. I'm like I'm impressed. Like I that was like. And the music. Flawless. Yeah, we didn't talk about the music, but it was very fitting. Yeah. It was very fitting. It carried it, was, it carried the emotion very well. Yeah, um, it was very on point. Uh, loved it. You know, it was uh, just like the last one we watched with the Amumu uh, music video. Yeah. The, the the music that goes along with the visuals is always on point. Yeah. Always they, on point. They without a doubt know what they're doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that was super enjoyable to watch. Um, like we said, uh, you know, share your favorite moments down in the comments down below. Um, and let us know your experiences with this hero, or if you play him, or if you don't play him, you hate him, maybe, you, you know, yeah. uh, whatever it is. <laughs> um, and like always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Bye.